what the aims of Beyond COVID are. Uh, and what that is really is to serve as a grassroots business movement uh, focused on helping the people that require the assistance. So ideally what we want to do is we want to link up the haves and the have-nots. Admittedly, you know, most people will say they're in the have-not situation at the moment, reduced revenue, low amounts of cash, uh, difficult prospects ahead. But if you dig deep, you'll find that there's probably something you can do to assist the business in the building next to you. In terms of how you could get involved, um, you can contribute in a number of different ways. If you've got a good brain, if you've got good experience, if you are the kind of people that have built up the profile of experience as we have with our panelists today, um, then you know we'd encourage you to join our think tanks. Uh, we'll be holding these periodically. This kicks off the series. Uh, they will typically be industry specific. So if you are, for instance, in catering and you're wondering, you know, how can, is it that you can keep your business alive and succeed over the next couple of years? You might pick up some nuggets of wisdom in these sessions. And you never know, that might be the little bit that makes the difference between whether you have to shut down or whether you're able to keep going. If you are, uh, if you have a strong brand or, and if you have money, so if you have, for instance, corporate South Africa sets aside annually 32 billion for what they call enterprise development and what better way to employ those funds in developing enterprises than helping businesses that are struggling and you'll see from the presentation that comes up soon that uh, there are many businesses in that situation so corporate south africa uh, if you look at the top 40 on the jsc um you're a hundred thousand contributed to this initiative would be less than half a percent of your stationary budget. So I'll just pause a moment to let that sink in. For corporate South Africa, the top 40 com companies uh, listed on the JSE Securities Exchange, if you contributed 100,000 to this initiative, it would be less than 1%. Our calculations put it much lower than your stationary budget. 